I, not a lot of people know it, but kind of like my signature is all over the city. So, have our computer here. So, we're going to start with making the sign. So, I need this. 22 years with the city. So, I dabbled a little bit. My dad had his own sign business for a while, and I, I was like a helper. Um, I learned a lot from him through that. So, uh, you know, there's standards, a stop sign, a stop sign. I can't make it any different than what it, uh, standards are. But as far as when we come up with stuff like this, um, they, they just give me some basic idea what they want, and then I can come in here and kind of manipulate it and, it and place it, and nine times out of 10, they're, they're good with whatever I, they, they're comfortable with whatever I do. And then we'll take it out to the table. On average, our typical signs that we make are the street name signs. Um, I would say anywhere between 15 to 20. Uh, traffic control signs can be 5 to 10 because we usually have those um, in stock. So we don't really make those unless absolutely necessary. And then specialty signs, maybe 3 or 4. Um, that's just as far as us actually making them from scratch. I guess because of my graphics background in school, when I came in, you know, they kind of harped on me a little bit. I said, Dean, it doesn't matter if the sign, the border is a little off center, but I couldn't help that. I was instilled in that from my dad and from uh, doing graphic arts where everything has to be exact for, you know, Photoshop ready art. And I would just tell the guys, I said, take pride in your work. Don't rush it. I mean, I know the signs being seen at 30, 40 miles an hour, but if it's up there a little bit crooked, there are people that do notice it, and I'm just trying to avoid that. I don't, I don't want people talking anything about my work, <laughs> unless it's good work. This part down. Probably the one that just kind of sticks out is Scott's Mill South is, is the Wizard of Oz. There's like Yellow Brick Road, Lion Coward Court, you know, you name it. Anything that was involved in the, in the Wizard of Oz, all the streets are named after something in the movie. But when it comes to like the big, the big parades, like coming up, we got a Veterans Parade. Um, and if the routes change or don't change, I typically come, we have maps that we update. The organizers will come in and, and suggest what they want, um, but basically a lot of it, when it comes to traffic control and safety, PD and, and, and I, we pretty much kind of determine how oh. things go. We try to make it work better for them and for us. Yeah, I mean, that's when I, I tell people that, I say, man, you guys do all that. Um, of course, we do do pavement markings also. Um, and then just almost anything else, you know, we do assist helping out with other departments if they need lane closures or they borrow equipment from us. And um, I mean, as far as that, that's that's the core of it, it's this signs and the markings, traffic control. So. And then once these signs are made, the guys will set them on their trucks and take them out and go and replace them. You know, we 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 have our job to do but we also can have fun at the same time, which makes it worth coming to work. You know, a lot of people don't enjoy coming to work, but <laughs> we get in here, it's like the first couple guys walk in, jokes are already flying. You know, it just keeps a light atmosphere and keeps everybody kind of at ease and not have to stress all the time. And then too, you know, I'm not stuck in the office all day long either. I get to go out and inspect things like this and work with the guys, you know, get out there and actually do the work with them. And, 